Hi, today we're going to deal with how to fix a remote control button that is getting very difficult to operate. Uh, so very often the commonly used buttons like the power button on this TV remote control, uh, you have to press it very very hard to get the TV to turn on or off and that's because the conductive surface underneath the button is becoming worn out through repeated use and um, these are all rubber buttons and underneath they have a sort of carbon coating uh, which has a lowish resistance which when you press it connects on a circuit board to connect to uh, copper tracks together and so what we're going to do is prise the remote control apart uh, if you use a plastic separator tool like this or screwdriver or something and we're going to try and see if we can fix it just using a pencil now this 2b pencil uh, contains graphite although it used to be called lead pencils it's not lead it's actually graphite and if you scribble on a piece of paper like i done here and then you measure the resistance with a multimeter you'll see that the graphite is actually conductive then the resistance goes down and it's about it's going to be about one or two kilo ohms just a little bit of scribbling with a pencil and hopefully that is enough to fix the button so we shall see so first let's get it apart so to get these things apart either with a plastic tool like this or with a screwdriver you have to prise in the gap between the two halves of the plastic casing and uh, normally these two uh, just clip together look for any screws that are underneath which uh, support it but uh, try and wiggle it in there and force the two halves of the case apart and you should see where the little clips are and hopefully be able to release it like so and there is your rubber membrane containing all the buttons and the center part of underneath of the button is um, conductive so when you press it it connects the tracks on these little button areas on the PCB so hopefully um, we should be able to just improve the resistance in fact on the power button you can see that, that power button is actually shiny where the other ones are not so shiny which shows that uh, the conductive surface has indeed worn off um, what I've done in the past actually is to glue on a little bit of aluminium foil which is a very quick way of doing it. Foil of course is a lot less resistance than uh, the graphite I'm going to put on this time. I uh, couldn't lay my hands on some double sided tape so we're just going to try the pencil trick and see if that fixes it. There we go, make sure the pencil is nice and blunt so we can try and get lots of the graphite over the button. The other thing would be ideal I sometimes keep them in a toolbox but I run out now uh, would be some silver ink and you could just paint it over the button and after it's dried again that would be uh, nice and conductive um, but I don't have any of that, that in my toolbox either so I'm hoping this is just going to be a quick fix get the TV working properly there's a TV in a spare room and that's uh, for the mother-in-law to use and I want it to be nice and easy for her to operate. So that's a fair bit of copper, sorry, that's a fair bit of graphite over it. And if we get our multimeter probes. So in fact, when I measured the resistance just using the uh, pencil uh, graphite, it was a little bit too high resistance for my liking compared to the other buttons. And I managed to find my old pot of uh, silver paint. Uh, unfortunately, the paint's all dried up but I managed to just about scrape out enough silver using the pencil and bits of dried up silver just about as you can see on here give a little bit of a silvery kind of graphite coating to the buttons and I'll do a few others over here as well see they're silvery now and I measure those with the multimeter they were a few K so that should be uh, good enough so we'll try it out and see if that fixes it uh, if you want to buy some of this silver paint and obviously um, undried up stuff would be even better because you could just paint on the buttons. Uh, I'll try and put a link in the video description so you can buy it from somewhere like uh, Amazon. So uh, now we just put it back together and see if it works. So now here's the remote, here's the telly. Give it a light press and hey bingo, TV comes on straight away. Uh, you can see the light flashing, it'll be there in a minute. And there we go, another light press.
ish press. There we go. Um, before you had to press really, really hard on the power button to get it to work. So uh, that's quite pleasing. Uh, let's just test the other buttons, volume and program, which are also getting a little bit worn out. Yep, that works nicely. Very gentle pressure on those, up and down, and the volume. Yep, that's all good. So that should be now nice and easy for people to use, rather than thinking that uh, the TV wasn't working. Okay, good luck with yours, and thanks for watching. Bye.